essentially shows the people how to do all the things on Zoom. Very smart. Like oh, she has a prompt. I'm like I nice one. Thanks. Oh, nice. Thanks. You're in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I feel witchy. Well, that's the witchy. That's cool. Thanks for showing me that. I'm a, I'm transparent. I mean, th myself. this to me is the you know the start of Whams, right? It's the start of your aesthetic background for what we're doing. Totally. You know what? I'm gonna go to this spot in San Francisco, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll Skype you guys from there. <laughs> we'll zoom from there. Cool. Okay, so, so we kind of cut off in the Sam, did you feel cut off or you feel complete or? Um... Um, yeah, I'll just say two more things just to complete. Um, I guess where I see the silver lining in everything is that the technology, the simple technologies of, of kind of burning up the ego and of the old ways through like doing meditation every day and yoga and really like trusting in yourself and getting aligned, like your body as a technology, getting aligned with source and then figuring out like, what is it that you really desire? Like the, what is your biggest wish in the world? And then kind of keep on meditating and keep on clearing your body. Then you're seeing it manifest. And that if we, on a global scale in our all our different forms that get us there if we can like really come back to our heart space and trust that um, and kind of get rid and burn up of all that residue of the old paradigm then we don't have to feel that we're greedy and like envious and that we have to compartmentalize there's enough infinite abundance it's like if I'm in a better space, I can sit here and I can listen and, and, and also talk about my dreams and feel more calm because I'm just in my physical, in my space shoot, suit, I am, I am in a better receptive, flowing and inflowing matrix. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> You know, like, it's just like, we have, we have so much, but people need to be able to understand what they really want. And that takes time and that takes patience and, and work and clearing. Because, yeah, sorry, just one more thing. I think that people are grasping on to things that they don't even want, and they're replicating themselves as, as what Hollywood or what the poster boy girl said is actually going to give them happiness. But that's a crock of shit because you know in your heart what makes you happy, and that could be different. And and they're selling they're just the, the whatever this energy i think it's just more of an energy like we said you know all this is happening to all of us like why is this happening it's because we're at the digital age and it's supposed to happen this way we were supposed to objectify before and compartmentalize and divide because that is what brought us this technology so that we could come back to our heart centers the inner space with the outer space the outer space being at the beginning of this atlantis they went under because they were so focused on technology in the outer space. They needed, but they knew about the inner space, these ancient technologies, but they're like, oh, whatever, that feminine stuff, you know. And then we create all these mirrors and all these vacant spaces, all these structures where People don't even, they're just clinging on to the structure. They're like, oh, this isn't satisfying. Like I'm in this like really beautiful, multi-billionaire, millionaire skyscraper up in the sky and I'm still not happy. It's because it's missing the 
it's missing the love. It's missing the creativity. It's missing the ephemeral magic of the spiral feminine energy that is now coming back into into the realm of uh, humanity. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Inner space, outer space, and then both poles, feet on the ground, and head in the sky. And then you have this vortex in the middle. And then that's how we're going to ride, baby, and it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> listening. Jordan. Jordan. That sun is so nice behind me here. Hmm. Where do we want to take this from here? That's a really good question. So we have this channel with our feet rooted and our, our head up in, in dream, in this unified wave. And we're experiencing ourselves as this cord. And that cord is resonating our life. So I'm noticing that there's different regions along your spine where there's kind of like trauma and karma that's like built up and calcified. And, you know, I talk about media a lot. I talk about making shows. I'm going to make these shows. It's movies and it's all, but it's not really, it's, I say that as an excuse. I say that so that people kind of take stock and take seriously what I'm saying and the media it is that it is shows but what it really is it's illuminating a journey that's liberating those parts of your spine it's going into different areas of your spine in in a metaphorical way in a in a taking the the karma the trauma the hardship that you're experiencing that's really holding you back from experiencing your liberated self. And uh, it's, it's a liberation mission. And we're making shows about us making beautiful poetry as the metaphors of what we're experiencing in those areas of our spine. And then we're coming together with groups of people to, to boldly go into those into those areas and face that and face that hardship and face what's holding us back and and um, create an understanding and create a communication and create mm, themes as you could say ways of um, sentiments motifs moments where moments that can teach you how to be comfortable or navigate dealing with really challenging experiences or your fear, you know, when fear comes up, oh, the fear just makes me collapse. It's like we need resources in, in our mindset so that we don't collapse into the fear, so that we can experience the fear and instead of, oh, I feel this call to collapse, we, we give each other opportunities to have another channel to choose from. Oh. I could be curious here instead. I could investigate. I could go into the movie where I'm a character who's like Indiana Jones and boldly goes with this adventure set into the thing that has made me afraid for so long. And now I'm not this cowering, like, like afraid person that's like veering off and oh, that's great, into the darkness, you know? I'm, I'm actually taking the opportunity where fear has presented itself to actually be the catalyst for my illumination and the point where it actually, it, it's the reason for me to stand up and embody who I am. 
And if we're not only accountable for ourselves and our own liberation, but accountable for others, and there's others that are going and experiencing their challenges and hardships and trauma and everything that's holding them back, we can respect that. And we create a set of characters that we can live our life through. We create a set of show mindsets, paradigms that we can experience. This is how I experience when I wanna show up in service for others. This is how I wanna experience when I'm showing myself self-love and care. And these are shows, they're media shows, but the show is just to give you a taste, to give you an understanding of what the personal experience feels like, what it feels like to embody that. It's software, but the real media, the real experience is your life. And you're just watching the show to, to download tools, just like Neo in the Matrix, when they put him in the chair and they put the little thing in his head and he, I wanna learn Kung Fu. And they just push a button and he's, oh, oh, now I know Kung Fu. It's like, I wanna deal with my trauma. I wanna deal with my fear. I wanna show up to, to live my dreams boldly and not be so shy or nervous or afraid. Well, here, just pro here's, a, here's a program for that. Just watch this. Oh, what a fun show. And then after it, I feel empowered to take my life, to take my life back. Hmm. I'd, like, I'd like to respond to that. Literally, yeah. this weekend, I took part in a, Marco is another dance movement therapist, and he guided us through a visual movie of different somatic uh, experiences. So you're in nature and you're, but you're like, at first you're like bamboo and you're, and the wind is blowing you. I want to, because it's really hard for me to say things quick, I'm going to make this quick. Literally, when you said that you could be Indiana Jones, I went to a state out of identifying certain physical parts as you have a nervous chin. He said, you have a nervous chin. You have a proud chest. But then he got us to a state of going into fear. Go into fear, go into fear, go into fear. And then he says, peace is starting to rise out your navel. And then we were trying to find this kind of peace or this kind of special energy that's in your room. And I was slashing, slashing all these vines that were keeping me trapped. Like Indiana Jones, I felt like I was macheting all of the things in my life that were keeping me small and then embraced into physicality this magic that is all around. And then I went to images of my father where he hid a little rabbit basket when I was little. I went back to a flippin' image when I was four and that turned into magic. And then the magic was in the corner and it was this magic to heal my family's lineage. Mm. Through the technology of visualizations of shows that not only represent what is beautiful, but the polarity of going into the fear made you spring out and fly to your abundance because you actually somatically and visually went to that stuff that you're trying to hide. And so you get entangled in it because you don't even understand that you are living it because you want to keep it away. And thank you again, I'm speaking so much, but Jordan, I was just like, what? Literally, that's like, what I just experienced mm -hmm. and this is the fusion of us all of this like why we're creating such a we're, we're manifesting and we're such wizards is that you know when you talk about the shows Jordan it's the psychology and the aesthetics and everything that is representing this universe that's in and you're not afraid 
to create a show about the darkest parts of humanity because they are there and they reside in you. And we can not do this anymore. Where like in the 1950s, where we're just like, oh, okay, this is functionalism. Like all the people that, you know, go to university and have 2.0 children and have like these cookie cutter houses. And that's the standard of like what normality is. And if you feel anything different, then we're going to put you on drugs and we're going to lock people up. And the thing is, is that we are, we have all humanity in us. That is Samadhi. That is the, that is the last level of yoga is like you universally are touched and connected to everything else. So to cut off and to like deny that part just makes it even bigger. Brilliant. Well, we're at 20 plus, I guess, the 40, so we've, we've, we've done an hour. I don't know if, um, if, if we've come to an end or not. Um, I don't know if either of you feels like you want to share more. I feel as if I had a, a good share. If I, I guess if I say anything in conclusion, I would say that the, the fires of humanity are being lit within the hearts of all the artists. And those artists are connecting to all the people around them, asking them to be inspired to light themselves up. And that both you are examples of those artists. And one is in seclusion, you know, doing your, your deeper inner work in the cave. And another is out beginning to get out of the world and starting to, to stimulate and connect to the larger group. I know you're separate, I know you love each other, and that the polarity between you two is giving you both a very strong creative potential. And that you know, this, the, the transmutation of the sexual energy and, and changing it into the creative energy and uh, allowing your own expression to go forward, still connected, but still within your own path. And for me, kind of like the looking at sort of like a curated bigger picture version of you know where Samantha is placed and, and seeing the remixing of, of Jordan getting all these pieces together Jordan gave me some great feedback along the way because I'm I'm starting to pump out some stuff and I I, 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 I like if I get on the one I mean I could I could create 20 30 hours of content a week easy all I got to do is press record and start talking and I got a lot to say <laughs> and, and, you know, I know it's, it's not, you know, there's a part that is used to not being listened to or heard or shared or anything. I feel, I feel I'm in the cave and I just kind of like, I got this cave stuff. And at some point, <laughs> you know, I make him out of the cave, but I'm going to Jordan. Are you sure that I'm doing, like I'm in the cave, but are you sure I'm doing this stuff? Okay. Like I, 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 I think I, I, I don't know. I th and he's going, it's okay, man. It's okay. Uh, when you come out of the cave, we got some other people who can maybe do some shit with your shit, but you're doing good shit. So, so don't worry. And I think to the artists out there that you have to understand, there's a lot of remixers like Jordan that can take your art and, and do beautiful things with it that you couldn't imagine. And there's people like Sam who are there to help you to get stimulated, to rise into your creative passions. And then I'm kind of in the background trying to, put it all together so that our whole species can break free of the fear matrix and, and, and go into the joy bubble together. And we're all part of that. Each of us has an important piece. Each of us is doing something so important and you have to stand in that value. You have to know that what you are doing as an individual counts towards the big picture and don't get lost in how bad it seems because it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. <laughs> until September of next year. Carl Kalman said that the mind calendar is dipping and we're going down into a lower wave. So it's going to appear to be worse, but it's like the Phoenix again, going down, down, down. 
and then up, 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 up. So to, to use those creative juices and to dive deep into that, your know, angst and to then come together in wild forest dance parties with beautiful music and all of us just So I look forward to when Jordan returns and I look forward to seeing you, Sam. And I guess we're, I'll leave it to you guys to finish off and, and say what you want to say. That was uh, such a beautiful session. I felt well, well articulated, well summary, Elijah. I think that this is the most warm water bath experience that I've had with you two to this day. I feel very heard and respected and that shows and I feel so excited for you two. Like I just, it's, anyways, I'm not going to talk a lot. So there was just so much synergy in this session so that means we've all been doing amazing work and i love you too so much and thank you thank you to my partner for being so patient and being such a good listener and working so hard for what he believes in even when everybody else doesn't that's extreme extreme willpower to your own passion and creativity. I am so excited to be your partner. <laughs> um, and Elijah, yeah, just, I don't even know what to say. I don't know, like, yeah, it's just your amazing wizard that's Thank you also for all your time and I'm excited to explore more and play with you. I feel like, yeah. Um, congratulations on actually being really recognized from somebody that, and to mending that relationship. That's beautiful. Yeah. And for, yeah, like the, the person being like, hey, Elijah, like, yeah, this is work. Like actually getting that that credit, you know, that's that's really important. People will come around. We just gotta be patient and stick with our witchy wizard truth in our hearts because of course we're coming against the opposite. Our society was not was burning us at the stake and all these people that are on the streets that are very wise as well and cannot cannot live within these falsities. Thank you to my family for struggling with mental health. Um, differences and being all creative, creative people. And it's really, really beautiful too Heal that and empower the creative weirdos and be like, yeah, it's, it's awesome to be strange. And you don't have to kill your soul. Yeah. Woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for hosting our weekly meetings, Elijah. It's been really the, uh, the, maybe the biggest point of accountability for me to have some routine in my life and really get clear with you guys and sharing of like where we're at, and where I'm at, and that we're all really feeling the motion together and on a regular basis. I'm really excited for your um, experience in um, feeling everything coming together, all the maps. I feel that too in my world and like these like blips of excitement of, oh, that's how it all fits together. That's how it all works. So 
I'm really excited to share in that awakening and that connection in, in this process together, in all our projects together. And Sam, thank you for uh, for just standing, for, for being with me through such incredibly um, confusing times. You know, we've, our relationship from the start has been really so much about healing so that we could come together and we find each other and then it feels like there's so much healing that just needs to occur and to be able to just let go into the trust in our relationship and trust in in your heart and trust in me that we're really really special together and that we're really doing some beautiful healing for each other for ourselves and for the world it means the world Okay. <laughs> thank you. If anyone is watching this, thank you very much. Uh, it's a joy to share this process with anybody. And uh, if you're an artist, keep going. You're going to make it. And uh, yeah, yeah. we all love you. <laughs> See you next week.